Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to Heat Heat Tail, Fire Tail, Lava Tail, Machine Tail, Ring Ring. See that building in the distance? That's the core. I, also, I was told, before I forget, before I forget, two things. One, I was told the first voice was better for Alfie, so talking like this is actually really good. That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by, uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle, and from there, you can go home. Click. Okay, so, I, I'm gonna structure, blah blah blah, you know what I, I, I need to do? I have to go to Undyne's house if I want the true act. See you, mouse. You and me, mouse. We we on we on the bad right now. Anyway, uh, apparently I do have to go to Undyne's house, and apparently I can't do that right now. Fuck. Oh, I hope I can actually go back eventually because this sucks. So I have to press forward. I cannot go back, but until until I actually get a chance. I cannot go back, so hopefully I'll get a chance here sooner or later. Please select a location. Uh, left floor one? Are we on left floor one? I don't know. Where am I? I'm lost. I guess that was wherever we were was not that location, so... Oh! Oh! We're at the ele elevator, so we can go back to Undyne's house. Okay, so let's go. actually go back to Undyne's house. Oh god, the boat is fucking the dog again! It, no, it's not literally fucking a dog, it's just, you know, actually a dog. Oh god. Oh god, here we go again, running across the water like that. It's flipping on- oh god, I don't understand. Tra la la, the piano plays tinkling song, hum hum hum, tinkling. Tinkling! I feel a tinkling in my butthole! I feel tingling down there. <laughs> Let me off, please. Let me off. Okay. Uh, wait. I was supposed to go to waterfall. No, I'm so much an idiot. Ah, uh, we gotta go to waterfall. God damn it! Here we go again. Try the la, tree li li, tree li li, tree li li. Try the light, tro lo lo. Try the la, tree li li, tree li li, tree li la 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 la, lo lo lo, li li li, la la la. La 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 Okay, then. The music sounds ominous as fuck. Hi, Papyrus. Oh-ho! <clears throat> oh, I haven't done his voice in a while. Uh -huh. Oh-ho, the human arise! You are ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? I fucking guess so. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Oh, are you sure about that? Oh, that was her p playing the piano, I think. <clears throat> Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Oh. 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 Why don't you two come in? Uh, Papyrus, what was that? I... What, what, what? That's just a living. Oh, God. Why am I here? Hey, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> She has a literal drawer full of bones. Sorry, you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> what? He just fucking jumped through the window! <laughs> oh god! Why?
Why? Why, Papyrus? I just like laughed, laughed, spit it all over the screen. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no, I'm just forced to be here. I don't really want to be here. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Uh, never with you, I guess. Yeah, friends. Really? How delightful! I accept! What? Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If, I, if you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right here. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now, get out of my house. Dang, that, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh god, he just kind of, what was that? He's like, fucking slunked back. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with wimpy losers like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. We'll make you, I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay, but um, I don't trust that smile. That is not the smile of friendship. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? I don't know where you're getting that fact, but, uh, uh yeah, anything's right with you, Undyne. <sighs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah, yeah, she's real, real smart. She did get me out of a few com complications. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. Oh God. So apparently this is a fr not a one time only thing. So he does this all the gosh darn time. One time Alfie's a uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. What's in here? You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, am I getting a distinction between Alfie's and Undyne? Because they were talking, there, there's some clues. There's clues about the shit, there, there's clues. The sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some of the top of the line MTT thing, but you know, as much as technology is advanced, nothing beats food home cooked on fire magic. I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so he heats up my food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Oh my God. There's silver, this, there's a silver road drawer. A silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, and knives, and tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Absolute, very tiny. You look inside the bone, bone drawer. Look inside the bone. Oh. Are you for fucking real? No, they're, they're, they're fucking annoying dog is fucking back. Why do you keep popping up? Okay, so. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Okay. Sit down and progress? I guess so. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. In the hot, hot fridge? Like, what would there be to drink in the hot fridge? Hot cocoa? All set. What would you like? Uh, oh! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down, enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can just use the spear. I, uh, yeah, I can select Undyne? Oh my god. Sugar goes in tea. 
Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea, that, that's an obvious fucking blue. Um, tea box, blatantly correct choice. Uh, are you hitting on me? Question marks. Ooh, oh, I was hoping for something more, but um, what about the? Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Um... That fist. Why that fist? That's sugar for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do you? I look like? The ice cream woman? Do you human ice... Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude of destruction? Is that it? No. That's what I thought. The sugar is for tea, okay? What? You wanna throw the spear at it? Hot chocolate? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it always is a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Yeah, sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you a fill, give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. That is. The fridge? You want to have an entire fridge? No. And a sword again. Okay, okay. Sword, sword, sword. The fridge, ever the fridge. Uh, okay, I guess the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'm trying my real best here with this undying person. She scares me. She scares me something bad. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. The slide whistle. The slide whistle! Okay, it's done. That's not how fucking tea kettle works. It how is that on the broken table? Here we are! Careful, it's hot. Um. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend. Hey! You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen men, someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like you. Uh, like a uh, papyrus, I meant, not you. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, he's not that, he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life? Oh, man. Oh, sorry, I was talking for all so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. 
Am I opening her up opening her up to me? Wait a second! Papyrus! He's cooking lesson! He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to do it for him! Why? Why? Why, 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 why is this happening? Oh god, what the fuck? That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lessons, you'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Woohoohoo! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Oh, oh, okay. Let's start with sauce. Oh. Envision these vegetables are your greatest enemy. Where did they even come from? Now, pound them in the dust with your fists. How will you pound them? Strong? Let's do it. Strong, you punch the ve vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Oh God. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Ah, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in the pot? How about fiercely? You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the paste. Or pasta. As a general rule of thumb, you the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Yeah! Stir harder! Okay, harder! Harder! Ugh, let me do it. Okay, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove stop. Stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn it into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Uh, hold the right to turn up the heat. Turn up the heat. Hold up the heat. Hotter. Oh my God. Hotter. Darn it. Um, hotter! Oh, wait, that's too... Oh, God, what have I done? I've done bad. I goofed. Oh, God. Everything's on fire! Ah, oh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the worst. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with other people. I understand if you feel that way about me, and if you can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Um... I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you! That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch all out of both sides. It's the only way you can regain I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Uh Undyne check. Undyne, attack 41, defense 21. Without her armor, she's actually lost a bit of attack. This time don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Act Undyne fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. One damage. Okay. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine sh Dick. But the way you hit me right now, it it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Oh, that smile. Just like him. I'm guessing Asgore? Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their souls instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> and if you do hurt Asgore, 
I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? Woohoo! Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh my god, the house is in pain. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Well. Here lies fish house. I knew thee well. Goodbye, fish house. Goodbye. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, whatever the hell that was, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!